want to make sure that I got this right because I feel like you guys just aren't getting the bigger picture. Um, the whole presidential immunity when it comes to Donald Trump. Donald Trump has no presidential immunity because he incited an insurrection and he used violent rhetoric. Okay, so he has no presidential immunity. He gets charged. What does that mean? That means that the people who were never president and were saying hateful rhetoric and hateful shit on the news, be they congressmen or a journalist, also gets to be tried for their hateful rhetoric, right? People like this. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick them. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right, uh, to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. You would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Right-wing Americans will say, it's all about keeping America, keeping America's independent and safe. If you want to fight against the country, you need an F-15. You need a, something a little more than a gun. No, I'm not joking. Think about this. Think about the rationale we use. That's you. Now, let's be clear here. You saw Joe Biden in there calling for violence. You saw Maxine Waters, Nancy Pelosi. You saw news journalists calling for violence. We don't have free speech in this country anymore unless it's the Democrat narrative, because I guarantee you, well, it's not the same as going to be in my comments, because it is. You can watch Donald Trump's whole entire speech in its entirety on his ex account. It's still up there to this day. It's still up. You can't hide it. You can't try to flip it and switch it to fit your fucking narrative. It's there. All anybody has to do is watch the thing in its entirety, not the snippets that you take out to paint him as some evil, terrible dictator, horrible, fascist person. Sorry, it doesn't work with those of us that have critical thinking skills. We watch the thing in its entirety, everything. But back to the presidential immunity. If Donald Trump has no presidential immunity simply for saying something that someone doesn't agree with because of their political beliefs, then that means that way crazier shit, like, I don't know, Obama leaving soldiers to die in Benghazi, gets to be prosecuted and tried. People like, I don't know, George Bush, who sent millions of Americans over to die in Afghanistan and Iraq over weapons of mass destruction, which didn't fucking exist, and it was actually over oil, gets to be charged and tried. That also means that Bill Clinton, who had a sex scandal with Monica Lewinsky, gets to be tried and prosecuted. That also means that your precious, precious Joe Biden gets to be charged and tried for every single death at the hands of these illegal immigrants because of his failed border policies. And you are not going to sit there and argue with me on that. This man single-handedly cut down every policy that Donald Trump had to keep this country safe and keep our borders secure. His first day in, cut everything and invited everybody to come on in there telling them, oh, we'll help you. We'll help you pay for your American dream at the expense of U.S. taxpayer dollars. All of those deaths are on Joe Biden's hands, which means once he gets out of office, he can be tried because, well, presidential immunity doesn't exist, right? You don't get to have one side of the coin. It's, it's both sides. So either there is presidential immunity or there isn't. You don't get to pick and choose just because you've been told to hate this man.
wake the fuck up.